What's up, Dapper Squad? Today we're watching Blue Lock episodes 13, 14, and 15. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Check out all the social medias at Dapper Darius. Let's hop right into episode 13. This one's called Top 3. All right, here we go. By golly, am I ready? Imagine a Toshi Rin joining the team. Oh, that is classic Bachira. Of course he did. We This is post uh, mini training arc too. The one-two pass feint over to Nagi with... Stop you glam style. Okay, Nagi with the beautiful kick back. He's not going for it. The one touch kicks. The direct shot. I love it. And right past the blue lock goalie. Come on. Imagine within the first like 30 seconds scoring a goal. See? Now I get the picture. Now I know what I'm working with. No shot. No way. This is a battlefield. I love the way they're visualizing this. Who is this man feeling like? Okay, mister. No passing, no anything, straight from kickoff on some Rocket League shit. Okay. 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 I mean, it makes more sense in this mini field situation compared to a normal field, but straight from kickoff? Friend or foe, you're all half-baked NPCs to me. Oh, God. It's different. Yeah. It's more vengeance. Yeah, living in his brother's shadow, I could see that, you know? The same as dying, so he just refuses. <laughs> He's like Komugi and Hunter Hunter. Losing is essentially dying, so we must never ever lose. Weirdo alert. Very interesting. Let's fight to the death on this battlefield of soccer. Okay, Mr. Glam. Toki Mitsu. How is he ranked so high? That was some like flexibility. I mean, I guess he's been getting all these glamorous positions, but how long are his limbs? This guy. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I love him and I hate him. <laughs> Slanty brows. I really love the confidence from Bachira sometimes. How is Toki Mitsu this high? He's... His anxiety is gonna give him like a fucking secret power? It's like his fear and dread of becoming useless gives him just a huge power boost. His explosiveness is insane. Why are they like animating him so slimy like? I love the way he has his like dark green energy and his muscles are just what the hell? Imagine if he was able to fully gain confidence and not be like a Zeni 2 character at all. Are we gonna lose a member? We're down 3 1. We're gonna lose Nagi or Bachira? Yeah, this is all new to Nagi. He's never not been the best on the field. I love when your main character can give other characters a mindset change, perspective change. Okay, sir, I believe you. I genuinely do, like, genuinely. 
And I love the way they have his galaxy-like energy in the background. I love how they're animating and visualizing the show so, so much. I actually really enjoy this plan from Nagi. Shouts out my boy. I mean, no, but I was hoping you wouldn't care enough to join in, you know? With the spin, all he had to do was lift it up and it naturally went over Aryu, so it made him be able to break free and get a little bit of space. <laughs> chemical reaction. I actually love them as a team. I'm still nervous we're not going to win, but I, I genuinely think this is great plans. This is great teamwork. Yeah, see, anytime I have any bit of hope, he just talks and it all just dissipates. Rogue. I, he's right. I can't take that away from him. He's staking his life. His resolve is crazy. If this was Hunter Hunter, his Nen would... Even even we made the same faces. He said, I'll be a secondary defender. Not only can you see what I see, but I can see what... Who is he feeling like? Did they animate like... Is that water? Because of how wet that shot is? That was disgusting. I'm trying to think, because I've had you guys recommend some highlights for me from other football reactions. You know, like the main, the ones I've mainly seen are like Ronaldo's best moments, Ronaldinho's best moments, obviously uh, Mbappe, uh, Messi, all the, like a lot of highlight montages and stuff like that. And I've seen a few clips, like not a lot, but I've seen some crazy plays since I started really getting into football, soccer, relative, since the show came out, this is what got me interested. I've never seen someone <laughs> take a goal from a corner shot. It's always into a header, it's always into a secondary direct shot, something like some Isagi type shit, but... And I, I, again, I know I've said it, but the way they're visualizing it with either the water behind, with his muscles growing, with his, with um, Takimitsu's dark green, Nagi's like galaxy, uh, Isagi's blue. Like, Rin has like a, a teal, greeny kind, you know? I'm liking Isagi's observations. He's such an observative character. Anytime he talks, I just lose hope. I mean, he said it to you, you said it to him. He sees what you're seeing, you're seeing what he's seeing. It, when it seems like he's reading your mind, he's reading you like a Dr. Seuss book. Redfish, two fish, one fish, blue fish looking ass. Hold into the, like, listen to the way they're talking about this. I genuinely think they're gonna lose, which, a humbling is never a bad thing for a main character, especially one that has to do with ego, you know, but... Look at this guy. He's flowing like actual water. <laughs> that just shows you... Oh, see, they're doing it again. That just shows you how amazing he is. He was enthralled, even though he was about to take a fat L. And that's it. Team Red. Good game. Like, I loved our teamwork. I loved our power boost because of the little mini training arc. I loved everything. But it didn't make a difference because of this. Oh. They're pointing to Bachira. Bachira was... He's going to be a hard loss that we're taking. I'm so butthurt. He is a great passer. He's great individually. Don't go dozing off, Bobcut. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I was so excited about this team. 
I don't want you to, buddy. I appreciate you and respect you too much. Such a good answer. Come and get me. Oh. Like I said, a humbling is never a bad thing. That was such an L. Second selection, third stage. Nagi and Isagi lose. A new ending? I love the art style. Loser gate, no. Look at them all bummed from that loss. This art style, Kunigami, Chigiri. Rayo, Rin, are you? Bachira. What? This is so sick. Is this? I must, because we already got the opening, so this has to be the new ending, but it just gives me opening vibes. I can't even lie to you. That was, oh my god. All right, a little mini recap. On to episode 14. This one's called The Geniuses and the Average Joes. This is getting juicy, I can't lie. But I love a good solid L for a main character. Remotivates him, reignites that passion. Oh, it is the new opening. Okay, so that was the new opening. I fucked with that. This is where you end up when you lose a three on three. You wait for another team to lose, and then you do two on two. Damn, so I wonder what team's gonna lose. I'm very curious. Right? Sometimes you need some tough love. He did leave his friend to come with you, so he doesn't want to... I'm with Nagi on this one. Don't be a negative Nancy. Think about that. Come on. Use that as motivation. I know you're down in the dumps right now. I completely understand. I get it. That's what I like to see. The fight. The drive. Look at the way... He, mm. Very true. So you really need to improve your individual skills, your basics, fundamentals, your weapon, everything. You took two L's in a row. Nagi said after the first one, he never wanted to feel like that again, so. Okay, they had a little spat. He needed some tough love, had a little discussion. And we're right back to how we are. What's my boy doing here? Imagine we go against Baro and pick him up? Imagine? <laughs> Move, donkey, don't get in my way. That's the real question. That dude is fucking Yami Aizawa. I love Baro so much. With the, with the clap back immediately. I'll beat you and make you my servant? Nagi is not taking any shit right now. Oh, of course. And is that Naruhaya? Okay. Naruhaya and Baro. I am surprised by that team. Four goals? And would have upset their balance. That actually makes sense. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. He's like a boss in an Elden Ring or a God of War game. He's like, I'm not going anywhere. So come at me whenever you want. I'll literally be right here. He's like, my brain is uh, short circuiting. I've been thinking all day. Let's think on it. Let's get some rest. Think on it tomorrow. And just like that, Nagi's out. <laughs> hey, to be fair though, I sleep like that. And a lot of people roast me for that, but I sleep literally like a dead body. I love that aspect of this. We want to choose someone that we can beat, but not too weak, you know? So we got to go against someone stronger. Mm-hmm, so it's a delicate balance. 
同じこと考えて様子見てるって感じか次負けたら終わりだもんなビビるよなまあなかといって弱いやつ仲間にしたくないしそうそうだからめっちゃ考えたんだけどやっぱリスクも負わなきゃいけないんだ What do you mean by that, Naruhaya? What, what are you saying? Yeah, exactly. Tara, Erabare Nai Ho no Ningen Daro? Oretachua, Onastaro? I mean, you're not wrong, but I don't like the smile you're given. Oreno team made to a baro, Omaiwa Nagida, eh? Orega Hosinoa Nagida. Is he going on the offensive? I mean, I get what he's saying, but he has lost all charm, all. All. He's. Not putting on a facade anymore. This is not what I was expecting, but I'm kind of down. So it is what the challenge, you know, borrow Naruhaya versus us. This is going to be insane. Oh, I don't want one of our ex teammates to be knocked out, but we got to beat him. We got to take borrow. Matchup confirmed. <laughs> During the game, we gotta figure that out. Oh no. I love the way they're visualizing everything though. I mean, he's training pretty hard. Don't get in my way in the game tomorrow. I'm curious. He's gotta be decent if he made it to the Blue Lock in general, so. These cuts with the timer going down during these cuts. Oh, this is so good. Team Red versus Team White again. I can't not hear Yami and Aizawa, and I love it so much. Just like that, he's out of there. Show some respect. I am the king. Hey, he had training too. And just like that, we're off to a 1 0 start. I guess 0 1. This is where Bachiro would have come so in handy. Just do it. Nagi's got confidence in his control over any kind of space you give it to him. Mm, he's starting to think of as to the reasons as to why he was doing those things instinctively. They're becoming formulas that are reproducible. It's, oh my god. I mean, it's so similar to what Bachiro did where he had some spin and... It doesn't matter how bad of a pass he is, he'll make the pass good to himself by breathing life into it on his first touch. What the fuck? And his back was turned receiving that. He kept him, like, he kept Baru on his heels and then, oh my god. That is a good point. He has his ego. He's not going to pass it. He's not going to pass it. The way he stops that. The black hole takedown with his like galaxy vibe. Even Naruhaya has the orange energy. I love the way they visualize it, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that we're constantly evolving. His formula is getting better, more precise. Already. 2 1. We're getting some progression for Nagi. You're right. But we, but we need some for Isagi. Yep, right off kickoff. Alright. Thanks to Naruhaya's quick recovery, they got that. <laughs> which is weird. Which is weird. It's in the hands of the technically the lesser skilled, you know? Why is that? They consider him weak. 
They're talking shit. He's talking shit, but there's some factuality to what he's saying. And he's calling out the homeboys in the squad, too. The geniuses and the average Joes. I get the fucking title now. And he's getting in his head, too. Naruhaya, fuck. The ego at Naruhaya said no. The average Joes are trying to not be average anymore. I never would have thought this would, this would happen. I never would have thought Naruhaya was going to be our next anti. What? All right, on to the next, on the last episode, at least live currently, episode fifteen. This one's called Devour. He didn't end up scoring thank the lord second ball we'll get it that fucking physique this and he's even more mad because of naruhaya as well he, oh my god this man and i have the shooting skill but no way of getting myself to the goal yeah he is making valid points <laughs> average joe's with opposite problems one who surpasses their limits first. I love this situation. He's constantly thinking, constantly observing, trying to get better. I, that's one of my favorite things about Is Isagi. No joke. The the quick burst of speed is not going to be the... He, Nagi just doesn't realize Isagi is just trying everything in the book to see what sticks, you know? But... Damn, what are we going to do? At least, I mean, I, I do hate that he had to re rely on Nagi again, but at least Nagi was able to score. Shouts out, you know, him. 3-3. He keeps clutching those car caramel snacks or whatever that is. What the fuck is that? Okay. Tear yourself down to build yourself up, and he's going from kickoff again. There's no way. Oh, thank the Lord, Nagi. <laughs> Naruhai is already on his ass. It's the movement. It's just like he said, you know? <laughs> Give it your best shot, little man. <laughs> he is intimidating. Oh, bro, the way they visualize all this. He did pass it to Baro, and Baro can let it rip. 4-3. Oh, no. Oh, no. And you can tell, just like Isagi's pissed, he has to rely on Nagi. Naruhai is pissed, he has to rely on Baro. Continuous, never ending, 1v1. That's a great thing, coming at it from a different perspective, different mindset, you know? He might be able to find his answer. Come on. I love how he thinks like that. He's trying to get rid of his already preconceptions of how it needs to be. And I he's actually super open-minded. I'll be reborn again and again. Most people can't do that. They're stubborn and stick with their ways that they, you know, always know. But I love that. He is so locked in right now. He is not listening to you. Blind spot, off the ball, blind spot, off the ball, off the ball, blind spot. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second, I'm about to get to the good part. You ever had a brain blast like in Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> Give me just a second. I'll take <laughs> That's speaking the Isagi language. Oh, God. A Naruhaya flashback? Itadakimasu. They're having gyoza? Dumplings? Are they all siblings? <laughs> That's so funny. Is that why he's always smiling? 
I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that next time. When the going gets rough, smile. Everything, you know. Oh, he lost both of his parents? That's why the older sister takes care of him? I instantly want to root for someone who's trying to be a breadwinner for their family. That makes me, like, respect the character so much more, you know? If that's his motivation. God damn it, Blue Lock. Don't make me feel for my man, Naruhaya. Especially when I have to beat him. That's when he thought, you know? Yeah. Damn it. You're the star of the Naruhayas. I just always think of Tanjiro. That's why he always clutches those. You can do it. You know, little notes from his family. I love that. Oh, damn it, man. I'm a family guy, so anyone who's trying to do things not for them, but for the family, I always, I always got to vote for them, you know? Even though I can't vote for him in this situation, but if it was against anybody else, I would be going for Naruhaya. God damn it, that was a good little two-minute flashback that completely gave us his motivation and why he's doing the thing he's doing, and I loved it. That's one of the things, like, how I praise Isagi for being able to tear himself down to build himself back. Baro would never do that. Regal philosophy. He barely missed. Holy smokes. That close. Off the ball, blind spot. Come on, Isagi. He's going to go for a direct first touch. A direct shot. That is so heartbreaking. Nagi with a great save. And they're going to do a counter attack. Emulation. Average Joe multiplied by average Joe. <laughs> Okay, how so? What weapon is he taking from Naruhaya? His ability to get behind and get... Yup, that's what Rin was saying. That is true. Very, very true. And as soon as that happens... That's when he and he's getting the orange energy too because he's emulating Naruhaya's ability. I love how they visualize this, the emulation. Look at this guy. I have to go beyond and reach my new self. He did Naruhaya into his perfect direct shot. <laughs> okay, Kakashi of the Sharingan. Fucking copycat ninja. Who are you feeling like? Borrow, get on this fucking team. Even though I really like you, Naruhaya. I wonder how many actual athletes, whether it's soccer or any sport, you know, if they're in this situation where it was all on them and they lost it. That's I can't even imagine that feeling. He really did. That's so wild. I'm so glad that's the reason too, because that is such an important thing to getting better at whatever you're trying to get better at. That is such a good thing for a main character, especially in sports, to have. A genius of adaptability. Ooh, beautifully spoken, beautifully said. This is the sad part about this blue log journey, you know? All the characters in the first election that I, I grew to really enjoy are eventually all going to have to lose. And now that hits so much harder, now getting that little flashback, you know? We're going to carry on that legacy for you, my man. I always thought Naruhaya was just like a one-off character. I wouldn't really fuck with him, you know. Not like the other characters, but his motivation hits for me. And that's, you know, that's heartbreaking. It truly is. God damn, this was a great-ass episode.
Because you got the speed, he's got the power. They got Rayo? That's actually a good, that's a stacked team. Nah, I'm telling you, that's a stacked team. You want revenge? You want to get... And a new ending? Let me hear this, come on. Another funky-ass ending. Oh, the, the... The duality of Nagi and Rayo right there. What's with this super artistic backgrounds right now? Oh, I love the glass falling in front of the character. And the, like, look at that. I love this. I love the artisticness behind this. Him with water. Rin is so clean with it. Well, that was quite the roller coaster of emotions throughout those episodes. It started off with us losing to Rin, them taking Bachira, which that was a fantastic game in and of itself. We did have to go a little bit down in the dumps to and pick ourselves back up. I love the kind of tough love Nagi was given. Uh, Isagi brought him out of the mud, and then they had the 2v2 versus Naruhaya and uh, Baro. And I love the distinction between like the geniuses, Nagi and Baro, and the average shows uh, between uh, Naruhaya and Isagi. But Isagi wasn't really an average show. He was a genius of adaptability, and I loved Naruhaya's recognition of that and just him being and isagi just being able to tear himself down to rebuild himself up is just such a great talent to have and something where you're constantly changing the way you think to get better like in any sort of sport that is such a good you know there there are coaches who will say people are unteachable like borrow borrow would be unteachable so i really enjoy that from isagi really enjoy these episodes love naruhaya's reasoning and motivations for why he's doing what he's doing uh fits so good Loved these episodes, like I said, loved the matches. I am ready to go against Rayo, Kunigami, and Shigiri, whatever that may be. I just hope we can all get through nice and seamlessly. Ah, uh, this has been such a crazy ride. If you guys noticed throughout this reaction at all, I, you know, try to support my head or anything like that. I'm still feeling lightheaded and dizzy from whatever sort of medical thing I'm going through right now. Doctors aren't really able to tell me much, sadly, so... I am going to be doing what I can to continue making videos and continue forward. But just, just bear with me for a little bit, guys, if, if, you know, something happens. So I appreciate you guys immensely. Like I said, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to check out the social medias, all at Dapper Darius. Check out that Patreon for early access and the full uncut versions. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.